So Gboard is one of the most popular keyboards that's available on both iPhones and Androids. So I'll give you a quick breakdown on exactly how to use this particular keyboard. Now it can look a little different depending on which particular operating system you do have. So keep that in mind. The particular application looks like this. So it's the keyboard by Google, aka Gboard. So this is what the application looks like. And this is what the actual keyboard would essentially look like on your machine. Now, typically, depending on what operating system you're on, you may not be able to get this pop-up. You might get a different looking pop-up. The keyboard structurally is still about the same thing as you could probably imagine. Now, the big thing to keep in mind here is that the keyboard works like a regular keyboard. So you have your keys right here, as you can probably see. The keyboard itself is pretty common. It's like any other keyboard. You can have your number pad right here. You have your standard texting. This button right here is a caps lock button, so you can capitalize the letter or uncapitalize, you know, keep it on lowercase. You have the backspace button right here, so it allows you to delete what was before it. You have your number pad, so if you click on here, you can get access to your numbers and extra keys and you know, commas, quotes, all this stuff. If you want, you can also click on this old number, you know, option right here, and it will take you right into your number pad if you'd rather go number-wise. And you can also click back here to go back into your letters. You have your emoji button right here. So if you want to, you can tap on your emoji button and get access to all the different emojis that you basically have on your particular machine. So this is another thing that's really cool. All the emojis that you can possibly think of are going to be available right here. So you can go through and modify these whichever way you want to. And that in and of itself is another really cool thing. And then you also have your other icons here that you can kind of modify. If you want to go back to your keyboard, you can click right here. Now you have your spacebar here, which is convenient. You have period, and then you have a return key which is just the enter key or enter button. You can click on here to enter and go to different lines, and, you know, all those types of things. Now, another cool thing is if you want to, you can hold down on a key right here and then we'll get access to a number. So if a key has a special character to it, you can hold it down to get access to the number. If you don't want to go and click on the number every time. And some letters do give you a little bit of like an extra type of layout. So you can see the E key gives us these things. So you can go through and kind of modify those things, whichever way you want to as well. Now I'm, that's kind of it for this. The other big thing is swiping. I think a lot of people use swiping. So instead of having to go through and like constantly go and like type in letters, instead you can swipe on the keyboard of the words that you want to use. And I use this all the time. So if I want to type in like, hi, my name is you or something like that, I can go and do that instead of having to go through and like doing like, hi, you know, my name, because that just takes so much longer. So if you get used to swipe typing, it's one of my favorite things. It's also kind of like, pleasing to kind of see the like, numbers kind of look like that in letters. So you can also think about it like that. Now at the very top of the keyboard, if you look right here, you get this pad right here. So what this pad does, number one, you have this button right here, which gives you a little bit of access for Gboard. So it gives you a couple of things. You can kind of change some things here and there if you want to. It's like a customizing kind of panel. You have this button right here, which gives you these stickers that you can use, which is cool. I never use them but it is a cool thing if you want to go and kind of utilize it. You have your GIF icon right here if you want to get access to GIFs, which again, I never really use. Then you also have this button right here, which is proofreading with Gboard. So it gives you a proofreading tool built in. Again, I don't really use it that much, but it is a cool thing to basically have. And then you also have your history of your clipboard. So any of the things that you've recently copied or anything like that, all those things will basically come up inside of your clipboard right here. And that is actually a really, really nice thing to have. So you can go through here, access that clipboard this way. And that is in and of itself, another really nice thing to have. And then you also have your settings application right here. So you can click on settings and it takes you into your Gboard settings. Now there is a lot of stuff to kind of modify here too. So you can see you have your glide typing, text correction, text correction, voice typing, dictionary. There's a lot of options here. I'd recommend every single person that kind of go through and just kind of change these options around and kind of see what you like and see what you don't like. And you can kind of change those things out here depending on which way you look at it. Now, finally, you have your voice dictation key. So if you click on here, you can start using basically voice to text. So it's going to start, you know, whatever I'm saying right now, it's going to just change it to text right here, as you can see. And it is a really nice thing. It's fairly accurate for the most part. And it's just a really easy way to kind of transcribe exactly what you're wanting to see. So. From here, you can go and click on stop right here. If you click on that keyboard icon right there, and then we'll stop it for you. So that is basically how to use Gboard. The big thing I'd recommend every single person to do is every once in a while, update the Gboard application. 
because if there's an update available, there might be new features for you. But that's basically how you use Gboard. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.